When you want to show your design or your concept to your client or your team, you want to be able to come across and represent your concept as best as possible. And that's what XD offers you ready to go from the start. So they have this prototype tab. And what that basically means is you can convert this static design to a more interactive one and you can then share that prototype with your clients or your teammates and then they can interact with this prototype and later on users can too and they can point out to maybe some flaws in your design and the things you can change with it and it's really easy to follow and easy to understand process and xd is awesome for that reason because they have design prototype and share functionalities all included in this one app and uh, on this one software so all you have to do to prototype is you need two instances for example of the same design so here just imagine we have finished this design we have been working on it using a client feedback and the design brief and we followed all of the steps in the ux uh, part of this project and now we want to prototype it and uh, simply show it to the client for their approval and to get additional feedback. So how can we do this is we can do that using the prototype tab right here. So when I click right here, you can see that now I got this blue circle with an arrow right here and that's used to connect two different artboards. But because I have just one artboard, what I can do is jump back to the design, hit Control D so that I can duplicate this artboard. And now I can start playing around with them and show some interaction to my client. So I can jump back to the prototype. And now when I click right here, and click on this arrow, I can simply drag it to this artboard. And now you can see what happens. We have this interaction panel right here, which are going to explain in the next video. But inside of it, we have all of these different values that we can play around and we can present this uh, to our client so that they can understand it better how it will look like when it's eventually code. So you can imagine a project like this can contain a number of different artboards. For example, you want to show how uh, this screen will look like when they click this back arrow, what will happen next, what it will happen when they click this menu icon, if they tap this image, what will happen next. If I want to uh, click on this avatar, for example, it will take me to the profile screen and how that will look like. So we're going to explore a few of these options in the next series of videos, starting with this interaction panel where I'm going to explain what all of these things are and I'll see you there.